what is going on guys good morning it is uh one till seven on saturday morning and we've already got the bike all loaded up cats out here hey sora and bikes all loaded up ready to rip got murphy and uh, we are going to ram off-road park today keeping it close to home i'm actually going to be doing a little bit of I guess uh, coaching with my friend Becca. I'm really excited for it. I've never done any coaching before, so uh, it'll be interesting to see what sort of knowledge I'm able to uh, pass on to her. So I'm looking forward to it, but help her out some this morning and then uh, throw down some laps for ourselves. So should be a super fun day. My dad's gonna come out and film. Uh, I don't think Oni's coming out. I don't think Tony's coming out, but you know, we always end up with some friends at the track. So should be a good day, but uh, let's get this guy some food and uh, get rocking and rolling. That's true. Hey. Just went with some uh, cheesy scrambled eggs. He always seems to enjoy them super easy, so enjoy. <laughs> yeah. Yum. It's about 8.20, we're just doing some final touches. So got my drinks for the day, got some Gatorade, got some water bottles, and then some hydro power that I've been using. I think this stuff works really well. Check it out if you're interested. But uh, yeah, so loading all this up and uh, ready to head out to the track. It's probably gonna be a little warm today. It's like 66 now. I think it's supposed to get up to like 85 or something, which for us here in Colorado is pretty hot since we had snow last weekend. So it's a big drastic change. Yet. Get this shaken up, we'll drink this on the way out there and uh, ready to have a great day. All right guys, and we are on the road headed to Ram. I know you're very familiar because we've been to Ram a bunch this year, but it's about 20 minutes from my house. So nice and close, we'll get there soon. and. Uh, yeah, nice and overcast. It's showing that it's 65 currently where we're at and uh, going to be a super fun day. Really looking forward to turning some laps on the bike. I mean, it was only one weekend off with the snow last weekend, but uh, that still really made me miss it. And uh, of course, today is the uh, Paula National, the motocross national first round. So really excited for that. Uh, see how everyone stacks up and should be good. And of course, Monaco for Formula One. So it's a darn good weekend, but uh, let's get out to the track and uh, get after it. We just pulled up to Ram, about to go to the sign-up booth, and this part of the video is sponsored by Ridge Wallet. So this wallet, it ain't your daddy's wallet, but it could be. With code DIO, save 15% on a Ridge Wallet, and uh, get your dad something he'll love for Father's Day, or if you're a dad like me, get something for yourself, treat yourself, use my code. Um, I love this thing, I love having it in my front pocket, it's safe, it's secure, I don't have to worry about sitting on it when I'm driving or when I go say to a restaurant or something like that. I carry my debit card, credit card, insurance card, driver's license, and a little bit of cash. And it's uh, everything you could need. Anything else, you know, you probably have on your phone, any apps or, you know, discount cards or whatever. So uh, check out Ridge Wallets, test drive it for 45 days. If you don't love it, full refund, no questions asked, get your money back. If you do love it, even better because uh, it comes with a lifetime warranty and uh, you never have to worry about it. And I would show you my old wallet to compare it to, but my old wallet is also a Ridge wallet. Super easy to switch out to. I'm not gonna show you my cards, but I can just pull all my cards out and slip them into the other one and boom, totally different look of a wallet. So check out Ridge Wallets. Thank you guys for sponsoring this video and use coupon code DIO, discount code on the website to save 15% and uh, yeah, go check them out. Thank you guys for checking out my sponsors when I have them. Helps keep the sponsors coming back and helps these videos get made. So uh, let's get to it. Go sign up. Awesome. Thanks, Jenna. Have a good day. Something that's really cool about Ram, man, they, they get up early or they keep the track good because it's 8.52. Gates open at 9 and there's already someone on the track. And what I mean by all of that is the track is ready to rip. Like you're going to get here and be ready to ride. You're not going to have to wait for them to finish watering up or do this, do that. It looks like they refaced some of the jumps. Track prep looks really nice. I'm really excited for it. But uh, yeah, it's really nice to be able to show up this early and uh, start getting after it. So looks like Becca and Robert are already here. So go park next to them and start getting everything set up. Got Robert. 
Robert? Yeah. We got back over there. Oh yeah. If you guys want to check them out, they have a YouTube too. It's uh, D-Class Heroes. D-Class Heroes. Uh, show some love and support on YouTube. So yeah, go check them out. They have uh, been vlogging. They race more than me and I uh, have some really fun videos. So go check them out. But it looks like uh, Beck is all geared up. We're going to get all ready and it's going to be an awesome day out here. It's beautiful out. Track looks good and uh, can't ask for much more. Guys all ready for this. Got that new Just One gear. Still even got the tags on it. That butt patch from Somnium. How sick is that? The purple outline, take it easy with the chilling astronaut. Got the jersey all printed up with the purple outline. So sick. Huge thank you to Just One as well as Somnium. And you know, my red, white, and blue helmet just wouldn't quite match that. So uh, we got a new lid too. Got some new gloves. Whew. I had to get a different GoPro mount because the Pro Shot Cam uh, with these aggressive angles doesn't work on there. So I just got this cheap one from Amazon. Should be good enough. And then, of course, some white goggles retro just one to go with it so super stoked for this kit today Neutral or not on that one? No. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it is weird because I can hear you getting on the throttle, uh -huh. but it's still just going down on you. I'm gonna just put these down here. Like, you're kind of like half jumping it, and I think that's just enough that it's kind of It's 11.15 now, Becca just left, she had to get to work. We had really fun with that training session and then uh, her bike started leaking oil. So we had to call it a little early, unfortunately, but a uh, really good time. So we got Daddy Dio here and uh, we're gonna go and ride and have some fun. I haven't even done a lap yet, so we'll get out there and yeah, uh, track looks sweet. It's pretty dang not busy, um, being that it's a nice day and Memorial weekend and stuff, I'm kind of surprised, but I know uh, Brush has a ride day, so probably a lot of people out there, but. Uh, yeah, let's gear up and uh, throw down some laps. Yeah. A few laps ago, you threw it out there really nice. It wouldn't turn off. Weird. And I, you know, took the battery out, blew on it, put it back in, and then just right. now, hauling ass through <laughs> here. Same thing. That's all right. Let's put a new battery in it. And I can hit it again. I, okay. I needed to break anyway. Oh, okay. That's it. Pushing the heart rate to like 196 there. Whoa. Just got done doing my first few laps. I did like 11 minutes. I feel really good out there. The track prep is so not deep. Like, there's barely any ruts for me, and it's like really smooth across it. It, it feels good. It's like. The moisture is there, but there's just not ruts. But luckily I have the still pretty new tires on there. They're hooking up really well, but uh, it's fun. It's not busy at all. I feel fast out there and 
happy to be out here. So we're just taking a little water break. Uh, the wind picked up some, it's not too bad, but it's annoying, it's there. It's probably messing with the audio a little bit, but gonna go hit the back section for a little bit because I actually have a backpack that I'm gonna do a quick little ad on TikTok for. But um, yeah, it's good stuff out here and happy to be out riding for sure. I've been off the, the bike for 20 years and I'm slowly getting back into it now. That's awesome. So, well, yeah. Happy to have you back on it. Thank you, Levi. Yeah. yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun to come out here and kick it around stuff. Did yeah. you ride it all? Yeah, but I broke my jaw. Oh, no. Yeah. On the bike? No, oh. not the bike. Oh, yeah. Oh. Do we? Do we? <laughs> That's a yeah, dude, Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you Keep as well. Thanks for saying the videos. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you so much. Yep, no problem. just filmed the uh, backpack part in the back area and then I did a few laps hitting some sections my phone's saying it's 81 degrees but it's overcast so it's really nice actually the breeze feels all right when you're not on the bike but uh yeah it's good stuff out there uh, some people have left a few more people have shown up but it's it's essentially dead out there and again the track isn't deep at all but it's it's pretty dang fun to ride it's not like it'd be good practice for the national or anything but I'm not practicing for the national so it's perfect for me I'm having a lot of fun but gonna take a little break get some Gatorade and uh, then we'll probably go out and burn another moto or so but yeah it's fun out here uh, Garcia and Becca both left so we're just kind of lone wolves but uh, happy to be out at the track as always I think that's good for me. Cool. I think I'll actually call it there too. You need to get one more jump on this too. Yeah, yeah. I thought like you'd feel kind of under. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yep. <laughs> We just finished up like a 13 minute moto, nothing too crazy. I just uh, haven't had very good endurance lately. I'm not sure if a while ago I was doing those 30 minutes and stuff, so I'm not sure what happened, but just 
haven't been taking care of myself so i think i'm riding faster too which is making pushing those longer times harder because i got like more confident with my knee so i'm riding faster so i'm riding for less time but uh yeah, packing everything up it was a really good day out here at ram had a lot of fun i hope you guys enjoyed it uh thank you to daddy dio for coming out and getting some footage for us and uh yeah i know ram's nothing too crazy no big jumps or anything but we have a lot of fun out here so i'm gonna go ahead and throw everything together and ski daddle on out of here yeah if you if i had known you were out here well, that's awesome <laughs> yeah it's so good, good to see you yeah right. yeah it's a great day yeah, absolutely. And that does it for Ram today. Super fun out there. I didn't ride a ton. It's not like I put a lot of hours on the bike or anything, but the time I was out there, I had an absolute blast. The track was sweet, not challenging, but that made it really fun in my opinion. But I felt like I rode really well and stuff. So uh, now we're gonna go on home, probably pick up some food and then watch the Paula National, Fox Raceway National. And then my buddy James, who I've known since the video game days, that's actually how I met him through uh, Vert Moto Gamers, um, uh, meet up with him and uh, his wife, and we're going to go to Top Golf tonight. So maybe after this outro, you'll see a clip from uh, Top Golf. We'll see. But uh, really appreciate y'all watching. I hope you enjoy it. Again, check out uh, Ridge, the Ridge Wallets, code DO to save you 15%. And now, as always, guys, listen to the butt patch. Until next time, take it easy. And if it's easy, take it twice. Talk to you later.